Legendary Pokémon. We have seen a lot of them throughout the Pokémon games and the anime series. A lot of them have incredible powers and can destroy everything in sight. But there's one legendary Pokémon that has a very interesting ability. Deoxys and its regeneration ability. How can it regenerate body parts so fast? Deoxys is an alien-like Pokémon that has four forms, each focused on a different stat. Deoxys was formed by the mutation of a virus and came from outer space inside of a meteor. The Pokémon is highly intelligent, its brain appears to be the crystal in its chest, and it's capable of firing laser beams with it. Additionally, Deoxys can use psychokinetic powers, which are useful for its signature move, Psycho Boost. As shown in the anime, it is able to regenerate any part of its body that it may have lost during a battle. In the anime and manga, Deoxys has been observed to create clones of itself. These clones have lifeless eyes and duller color, lack of the trademark crystal on the chest, and seem to be unable to change from the normal form. When these clones are defeated, they dissolve into dust-like particles. Now Deoxys is really a one-of-a-kind Pokémon, and as far as we know, it can't be killed. In the movie Destiny Deoxys, Deoxys fought with Rayquaza and was destroyed. The only thing that was left was the crystal. But sometime later Deoxys came back, so he regenerated his entire body. Now how did it do this? How can it grow back its entire body? To answer this question we're going to look at a certain animal with similar powers to Deoxys. To understand this we will look at salamanders. Yes, salamanders. Normally when you, I don't know, cut off your arm for example, it will close the wound and you will get a giant scar. But you won't get a new arm, not in a million years. But this is different for salamanders. The cells at the wound won't form scar tissue. Instead it will transform into a wound epidermis and it will activate all kinds of chemical instructions to the cells in the wound. The resulting wound epidermia introduces the regeneration process, resulting in a blastoma formation, which is a mass of cells capable of growth and regeneration into organs or body parts. Blastomas are typically found in the earlier stages of an animal's development, such as in embryos, and in the regeneration of tissues, organs and bones. So essentially the cells near the wound go back into builder mode. The cells will then start streaming towards the wound and will start to form a blastoma, this will eventually be the new limb. Now when the cells go back into builder mode, they will essentially change from for example a liver cell into an indifferentiated cell. These cells can essentially change into anything, like bones or tissue, and they have a perfect memory of what they used to be. They know what kind of cell they were and where to go. So these cells will go to work and will rebuild the thing that was lost, for example a leg. But how can salamanders do this? What's different between a salamander and a human that makes it possible? Well, it has been shown that macrophages are essential for salamander's superhero-like ability to sprout new limbs. The researchers studied the biochemical processes that occurred in salamanders at the site of a limb amputation. They then wiped out some or all of the macrophage cells to determine whether these cells were essential for regrowing the limbs. Salamanders that had all their macrophages removed failed to regenerate new limbs, and showed substantial scar tissue building up. Salamanders that had only some of their macrophages could still regenerate their limbs, but more slowly than normal. Once the salamanders replenished their macrophage levels, the researchers re-amputated the animal's limb stumps, which then fully regenerated at normal rate. These findings suggest macrophages are essential to the salamanders' remarkable wound healing abilities. But wait, we're talking about arms here not losing your entire body, which happened to Deoxys. Well, don't worry, the most amazing feat of regeneration must have been performed by the flatworm, which can grow back its entire body from one adult cell. And since the crystal of Deoxys survived, he must have had more than enough cells left to regenerate completely. But Deoxys regenerates a whole arm in a matter of seconds, that's way faster than any animal on the planet. How can it grow back so fast? Well, the answer is mitosis, which is the dividing of cells. You heal a wound by dividing the right cells to replace the ones damaged or lost. So if you get a cut in your skin, your skin cells divide and grow. Your skin will close up and is healed. So this would mean that the cell division process of Deoxys is way faster. 
like a million times faster. But this is going to get even more strange and remarkable. The Oxys has four forms. Attack, Defense, Speed and Normal. Now all these forms have different stats. So every time the Oxys changes, he undergoes some sort of cell transformation. Since every form has different stats and completely changes the Oxys. So does this mean that the Oxys has 100% control of his cells? And can change them into anything and give them different traits? Well it does seem to be the case and it also happens instantly. It's like a caterpillar can change into a butterfly in a second and the other way around. So the Oxys can't be killed. Or at least not that easy. Before you go I want to ask you a question. On the screen right now you'll see a couple of t-shirt designs. In the upper right corner there's a question. Yes, YouTube has a poll system. Do you think these t-shirts are ugly? Or do you think they're pretty?